there's anything else around, I expect it's inside. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please, take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. I suppose it's lucky my rocket didn't hit that then. <coughs> so. And that is... that's half cover? Really? Okay. There's got to be something still around here. It can't be just a few floaters and sectoids. Okay. can we actually see in here? Blew out that wall pretty good. Is there any cover in there to hide behind? Damn it. Okay, no, there's not. Stupid glowing shield thing makes it really, really hard to see sometimes. Alright. Thanatos. Any aliens? No, there's no aliens. There's probably just the one outsider left or something and I'm being paranoid for nothing. in here. Okay. Oh yeah, we've blown out that wall. Great. Uh, that wall is still there, though, and I'd like to keep it that way. So, if you would be so kind. Fan can make it up far enough to stand by this door here. Not gonna open it just yet. Kinda know what's on the other side of that one anyways. Oh, where can I put you? You know what, it might be worth dashing you. see anything over there. So go ahead and uh, dash. Okay, that's not the direction I really wanted you to take with that, but fine. What the hell was that? Any aliens over here? Just more wreckage. Uh, Good to go. You could use a reload. You're fine. Sounds of aliens were coming from over that direction, so. Okay, come on out here. Anything here? Anything here to shoot at? Yes? No? Nothing to shoot at? No? Good. I need to get you out of the way first. Okay, go there. Uh, 
Oh, no, you still can't actually make it into that corner. That's fine. Because you can make it here. It's plenty good enough for my purposes. There's something out there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure whatever there is is definitely inside this door. What do we got? There it is! Watch the flanks, they're moving! Okay. So we have plenty of people who can get in here and give that thing what for. Um, I think I've already stunned one of these things. Have I? I can't remember. In any case... Excellent oh. work. Looks like he ma- Yep! <laughs> I told you- What did I tell you? It was the one outsider and nobody else. To base we go. Looks like they're really taking care of business down there, and without so much as a scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus points to me. Nobody took a wound on that one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so promotions for everyone. First things first. Um, I actually really like Danger Zone. Uh, she's got both kinds of rocket already, so... It gives me a big, bigger explosion radius on the rockets. Then, of course, gets, uh, yeah, smoke and mirrors. I never use smoke grenades. It's completely worthless to me, at least. Everyone can just get better med kit, better med kit uses. Now then, continue. What do we got? We got corpses, corpses, lyrium, lots of alloys, and some damaged stuff. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. I'm sure they will. Our panic is looking a little bit better since, um, or was that Egypt? Yeah, they weren't panicking anyways, but... Germany was until we finished that terror mission. In any case, damaged things. Money. And the first thing. Our worst suspicions may have been true after uh, all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Well, I could actually build the access lift at this point. But I think that. Uh, I'd rather get the extra squad member. Speaking of actually selling things, do we have... We have seven Thin Man corpses. Okay. And we're going back to mission control. Commander, our there we go, we've got a satellite. By for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Carry on. So, hang on, how much do interceptors cost to order, by the way? I wonder. Don't have any in South America yet. Nice! Right, air and space. Okay, let's order one for South America. And let's take care of a little bit of the panic going on here. How many? I have two satellites available. And I can launch in... Uh, Argentina. Satellite launched. And Brazil. Satellite launched. And there we go. 
We have ways. Which means our interrogation is done. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's Sometimes Dr. Volan scares me. Procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And... Yeah, that there thing was shows up in the, in the, uh, in the tutorial mission, image. which of course I didn't and play through. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Which... Unless I'm mistaken... Oh, yeah, there we go. Armor Technology Research Credit. <laughs> yep, we already captured one. Now, I'm not going to do that just yet. Right now... Let's get rid of all the autopsies. Just, you know, while we can. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid. May as well get them done the now. No sense waiting. ...of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. So now we can get uplink targeting for our uh, for our interceptors. Very useful. Floater autopsy. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection. And this one gets us something else for the interceptors. Specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Yep, that one gets us uh, dodge for the interceptors. All very useful stuff. Unfortunately, it gets a little difficult to make it um, late game when you start running out of corpses of things. Chrysalidoptopsy. I'm sure we have plenty of these. So far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young. We've taken to calling this specimen. Yeah, we saw that for ourselves. And that one gets us chitin plating, which is sort of a better version of um, nanofiber vests, I think. Last one is the Thin Man Autopsy. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. And of course, you don't get to see what we have for that yet, because I think that unlocks a foundry project and we haven't built the foundry yet. In any case... Oh, wow! <laughs> 57 days. Yeah, I'll be holding off on that one for a while. I think that uh, I'll get carapace armor. It's, you know, it's a 12-day project. We only have six scientists. And actually... Dr. Volan's interrogation technique certainly is... efficient. <laughs> You'd never know it by looking at her. But that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. Yeah. Bradford. Okay. This is the gray market. How many thin man we can have? Two thin man corpses. We have a lot of alloys, actually. I don't want to sell those, though. Okay. That did give us just enough, though, to order one more interceptor. I'd like to have two.
Oh, look, they want weapon fragments, and they will give us money. Well, we have a fair number of weapon fragments. So, uh, let's get some money. It's considerably more than we might have got for the weapon fragments just by selling them. And... In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the order... Let's us afford the access lift. No the real question is... Bonus! What sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? Satellite coverage, satellite coverage, Oh look! Abductions! 